Hello, welcome everyone. This session is about IJCN Plexus Connect and the new features we introduced in the last couple of months. Let me start with Instant Jcam first. One of the biggest additions we did in the last couple of months is the introduction for PostgreSQL and Coral Cartridge support. Uh, PostgreSQL and Coral are the latest additions to the JCAM searching portfolio. They introduce many new features, they improve performance, and one of the biggest features is relevant search support, which allows you to sort by relevance similar to searches. And thanks to the integration, you are able to enjoy this support also in IJC. One of the biggest improvements on the backend we did in the last couple of months is the full revamp of form editor functionality. Uh, to the end users, it brings uh, undo redo function functionality um, and for the big corporate customers, we should be now able to copy huge forms without, with very good performance and without errors. What we are currently working on is multi-entity sheet widget support. And this sheet widget allows to display data from multiple entities in a similar way as we allow it for um, multi-entity table right now in IJC. Also improvements on the backend are multiple improvements connected to performance. We improve performance on querying, exporting, schema loading and other components. Uh, the benefits are from 10% up to we were able to speed it up by five times on some places. So if you browse big data, if you search a big amount of data, this should be very, uh, very visible when you start to use new IGC versions. Very hope. Uh, IT departments or the companies will be pleased is we start to support Java 11. This doesn't mean we are facing out support for Java 8, but we are supporting both versions. Right now, we also added support for OpenJDK, which is open source. Um, addition of uh, Oracle JVM. Both are developed by Oracle, but OpenJDK does it in cooperation with community and it provides longer support uh, for LTS releases. And now then the users can choose which of the JVMs they would like to use. One of the additions or improvements that we did is support for IST web. This is connected to Java 11 support because Java web start will be phased out from uh, Java 11. And uh, IST web allows uh, to run IJC from web using this open source implementation of Java Web Start. Additional addition to uh, our deployments to our installers is MSI installer. Uh, this allows to deploy uh, IJC in big corporate environments in easy manner. This was a short overview of changes that we did in IJC. And now let me introduce you what we did on Plexus Connect. I will start with a bit of a history. When Connect started to be developed five years ago, it was part of the family 
of products called Plexus Ute, together with assay, comprench mining, and analysis. At the time, Plexus Ute was seen as a solution for advanced workflows in big companies. But as the time went, uh, different tools went in slightly different directions. And in the end, in the Plexus Suite, only connect and design were packaged. And at that time, we started to decide what we want to do with Plexus Suite because the whole idea behind providing big, big platform was um, rethinked and transformed into a solution that we currently call Synergy Solution. If you are interested about cloud-based solutions uh, with advanced workflows, please see uh, track, uh, online track that will be held next week on Wednesday. And because of this change that happened in Chemaxon, we started to think, okay, Connect is no longer the Plexus Youth family, so what we will do with it. And that was the reason for a new direction. What is this new, new direction? The new is in apostrophe, and the reason is that we already are marketing Plexus Connect as an on-premise solution, as a web-based query and reporting tool for IGC for big customers, but now we are changing focus and this is our main, main marketing direction that we want to go. Meaning we don't want to have Plexus Connect any longer as a cloud solution. It will require IJC for advanced configuration and it is meant as a web extension for IJC. Uh, me, this means that IJC will be sold as a desktop product that is dis deployed uh, on target computers where Connect is server-side solution deployed also on-premise, but it allows to, uh, the users to see the forms in a browser without any need of installation and perform analysis and reporting tasks as users are doing it in IJC. What does it mean for the end users? With this direction change, we thought a lot how to uh, improve the experience for end users. And the result is completely new UI with improved, with improved user experience in some parts. We added new options for filtering, improved filtering as you are used on the web. We added charting functionality. We added uh, URL sharing functionality. And uh, we tried to, we try to create an envir environment where user would feel much more on the web than in IJC. On the other hand, we wanted to preserve uh, the feeling of old uh, connect. So the current customers shouldn't have that big problem to jump on and start to use the new UI with all the improvements, even performance improvements that we packed into the new version of Connect. So what are the improvements, one of the big ones? Form editor capability, long desired feature. You can start Plexus Connect, uh, open form editor, create basic form, and right away share it with other users. Um, in addition to this, you can start to filter also child 
uh, data. This is something that was for a long time available in IJC and we are bringing this support also to connect. We added support for additional widgets that were not able, available in the old version. One of them is pivot table. Another widget supported in the new connect is small metrics. Uh, we added charting functionality in connect. Um, there is already scatter plot, histogram, bar chart, and we also added support for radar chart. Some of the smaller improvements are query history support, multi selection support. You can easily share your forms, um, charts, and selections using URLs. And I will now briefly demo this new functionalities too. Okay, this is a dashboard of Plexus Connect. Uh, current users are quite familiar with this. There is a new uh, design, but the main functionality didn't change here that much, meaning here we have all the schemas. Here we have the views that are defined for the schema for the data trees. What we are currently most interested about is the create new view button. We, if we click on it, the list of defined data trees opened and we can choose either if you want to create new form or a new grid. We will create new form for Wombat compound view data tree. This brings us to the form editor. On the right side, we can see the supported widgets like more pane widget, table widget. I will scroll, scroll down to this new more metrics widget. And here I can configure it, title, I will keep the default title, empty one, it will generate some title for me. I can use the structure that will be displayed, the structure field. I can add some extra fields like mole weight. I could modify how uh, the dimensions of, of the widget. And if I'm done with it, I will drag it to the left corner and I will extend it. As you can see, I'm directly seeing the data in there. I can even browse the data. I see the mole weight that I configured and I can right away add another widget. I will add a table widget with some columns that I configure here. Let's say I'm interested about more weight, save, and again, by dragging it, I'll put it on the form. Again, directly in a design mode, I can already see and browse the data. And I'm no longer, um, when I don't want to design the form editor, I will hide the panel and I can browse the data. I can add new chart. I will add the data chart with some additional, uh, not CDID. It's some data. Now the chart opens. Right now I have selected only the first item. What I can do, I can add some more so I can compare them in radar chart. I can select them like this and I see the values and I can directly compare them in the radar chart. When I have this design form, I've added some chart. I can directly grab this URL, send it to my colleague. 
he can open the window and he directly sees what I saw on the screen, meaning the newly created form, the, the items, the records that I've selected and the radar chart on the right side. So this is very brief look on the functionalities that we added to the Plexus Connect in the last couple of months. And if you are happy with what you see and you would like to try this out, please go to the URL connectdemo.chemaxon.com and after registration, or if you already have an account, you can directly try it out. You can try out the form editor, creating new forms, charting functionality, browsing the data. And of course, for the current customers, the Plexus Connect, the new version is already available for download. So you can try it out also on your uh, own data in your environments. So thank you very much.